Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video on how to properly root your phone, your Samsung Epic using one click root and recovery version 2.5.5. Uh, basically what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to root your phone and keep the stock, um, stock RFS file system. It's not going to convert your file system to ext4 like the previous video I made. So if you're not looking to flash any ROMs, because right now all the ROMs being made are EXT4 compatible, so if you're looking to flash a ROM, click on the link in the description to look at my other video. Um, but if you're just looking to keep stock file system, keep stock everything, but you just want to root your phone, uh, use this method. Um, to show you, I am now on just stock ECO5, build number Froyo ECO5. Um, that just shows you guys that I'm just on stock ECO5. If you're not on stock ECO5, if you're DI18 or EB13, uh, this method will work. Um, if you're looking to update to ECO5, you can use Odin or you can use the update method. I have both videos made for that. Um, I'll put those in the description as well. So now to get into the video. Um, basically what you're going to need first is the uh, drivers for your cell phone, uh, you're going to want to go to this website, this XTA developers website, uh, right up here. Um, you're going to want to click on the link in the description. You're going to want to scroll down a little bit um, and you'll see that it has 32-bit drivers and 64-bit drivers. Uh, whatever operating system you have, uh, just click on the link. It should download the zip file, unzip the file somewhere you know, and then install the drivers. Uh, Make sure those are installed. Also, if you are using your stock, uh, your stock U micro USB Samsung cable, I'd get rid of it and get a new one. The stock Samsung ones aren't very good, uh, so you might run into problems if you're using stock Samsung micro USB cable. Um, anyways, so now what you're going to need to do after you get the drivers installed, you're going to want to go back up a little bit and click on this link. It's going to download the zip file of. Uh, the one click root after it downloads it finishes downloading unzip the, the folder to somewhere you know I unzipped it to my desktop um, I have it right here it is called root I just renamed it to root um, after you have it in a file just double click on the file and you open up and you'll see something like this all you're going to need to know to double click on is this run right here so, but before you do that, what you're going to need to do is go back to your phone, um, unlock it, uh, go hit uh, menu, settings, scroll, uh, click on app applications, then click on development, and click USB debugging. You want to have that enabled before you plug your phone into the computer. So now that you have USB debugging enabled, you're going to want to plug your um, your phone into your computer. You don't need to mount the drive or anything like that. You just want to plug it in. You'll see at the top USB debugging connected. Now that it's connected, what you're going to want to do is go back to your computer. Okay, so now that you got your phone plugged into your computer, you're going to want to double click on run like I said earlier. It's going to open this command prompt. Uh, basically, all you're going to have to do is says press any key to continue. So press any key that you want. Um, <clears throat> it's going to say started successfully. It's going to say ADB connection will be reset. You're going to want to ignore this message. Just be patient. Uh, it takes uh, me a long time sometimes. It takes me a short time sometimes. Then it'll say wait for phone to reconnect. Uh, let it let it go. It should. Uh, it might take a little while. So just got to be patient with it. Uh, if you do happen to get an error, you can exit out of it and then reboot your phone and try again. Um, otherwise, hopefully this this works this time. Yeah, there it goes. So now that it's it's properly rooting the phone, it says read finished. Um, it should reboot my phone, which it did. If you look right here, it rebooted my phone. Now that the phone's rebooted, it should say cleaning up files and it should say press any key to continue. And it does, basically that's just going to exit out of the one click root. Um, 
All right, and now that my phone is done booting up, it's completely rebooted. You basically, to show that you are now fully rooted, you're gonna click on applications. And if you look in the bottom right right there, I have super user, the super user app. That means that I am rooted. Um, and now you will have uh, a fully rooted Samsung Epic on the RFS file system, not the EXT4 file system. And now you can uh, go into the market and download the uh, wireless wireless tether app. It's going to give you free wireless tethering. So yeah, that's how you guys root your phone using one click root 2.5.5. Hope this video helped you guys out. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment on my video or send me a message. I'll be glad to help you guys out. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, that will be greatly appreciated. Hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.